action from Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Pavlik on your right side. The fight that the money was too good to turn down. And we'll see what happens. I don't think, guys, the... Uh, I don't know who was coming in the ring first. Pavlik's people said, we're the champion. We come in last. Hopkins applying a little pressure there. A huge age difference, as we've mentioned. Never enough. This is certainly the pace, Hopkins. And it, it should be mentioned that the man who ended the great middleweight. Two, two, two fights for each. Two fights for each. And Taylor really hasn't been quite the same since then. And, and then go out and then come out. A little issue here already. So we, we talked about Hopkins finding different ways to. The right hand over the jab of Pavlov that he's trying to score. The dominating force at 160. Different looking Pavlik by far. Right, Brick, we break step back. Well, you're going to see a guy. Oh, Hopkins got to him. He sure did. Caught him with a straight left hand. Down and two punches from being out in that one. It does need to fire a quick jab and then bring it back because Hopkins is playing off that right now. Yeah. We were talking about that jab, and he wasn't throwing. He clean wasn't break, doing, break, as Ron said, break. anything. The trigger. Well, he has too much respect for Hopkins. Break, and I think cool. Pavlik didn't now, expect it. has got his hands full here. Now, Hopkins senses. You never know break, what Hopkins is going to do. He does what he has to do. And, and he's getting off the, the punches early. And Pavlik has it right. It was tight. So he's taking advantage of that. And, and so far, the and he can't allow himself to get tied up like it like just happened yep. in here. Expected to see throughout a lot of the fight, the stopping and the starting. But he was able to get out. By Pavlik at the crowd. Roaring momentarily. Yeah, he's sensing it. Hopkins trainer. Lacey well, wanted him to slow down a little bit, feeling maybe he's. Talk about no margin for error. Or he's laying yeah. on the ropes on purpose. Yep. Trying to steal a little rest. Bring no punches. Let's go. Let's go. And, and, and your observation is coming in, guys. Watch the back of the head. Both of you. And not worry about what Hopkins does. He's starting to launch a little bit more. Yep. He, he steals 10 to 15 seconds of pure. Remember that double jab that Jack Lowe was talking about? Has anybody seen that? No. To do, turn it around a little bit around four. Going out there, not the you know, effective punch that it has been. It, uh, he's not uh, doing the jab in the right hand because of what Hopkins is doing back to him. And remember, a few years ago, that would be unheard of to think a guy would have this much speed and stamina. To Look at this, Hopkins just walking away from it almost. But look at the countering by Hopkins. Now Hopkins goes out in the middle of the ring and takes it to him. BS from the referee and the thing that he's getting hit behind the head when he's not getting hit behind the head. That was gonna have to, it's gonna have to round six. Well, he's particularly quicker if you don't throw it. <laughs> then Maybe some people would have thought based on the style and what Pavlik was yeah, instead of jabbing, he keeps coming forward. Just what Hopkins wants, and he smothers it. Then Hopkins beats him to the jab, and it sets. Freak. Even though that punch didn't land solidly at all, Hopkins is out the biggest punches in the world, but those are the ones that can put the lights out. And they're clear that Pavlik involved in everything but doing what he needs to do to win the fight. That's the spot. What does it tell you when he's landing the right hand over that, over that supposed jab tonight, although none of the three of us have a judge's card in front of us. About headbutts, holding. Now the, the key is just not to get two warnings in a row for the same offense. Look at the body, have it pawing and missing and looking lost. Hands that are coming in. It's just Freak. not the authority in his jab that you Another warning. How many warnings can you get? 
Oh, it's and that's where he should be jabbing right. and walking his way in. He's got him cornered. You can't let Bernard Hopkins. You, you guys have covered Bernard Hopkins for so many years. Can, can you relate this to Punch? Pavlik's in trouble and Hopkins knows it. He knows it. 30 seconds. I'll bring the punch. What fountain of youth has Hopkins hopped in? <laughs> Looks like Hopkins has got a, a third rate sparring three. I would agree 100%. Yeah, left, right, left there by. Hopkins to maybe average close to 100 punches around, and that has not happened with the 43 year old legs. And he's not snapping that jab out there. You wonder, you know, there was a bit comfortable this entire not... night. Uh, the tightness that he showed. Got yes, it. well, the, the weight, the, yeah. the, the weight is one factor, but I think the, uh, the other surprise away from that's the tap. Tap. No, that's, that's devastating. It's really nope. a big right hand there over the top of that non existent left. You fight, Bob, get out, Bob, get out. But if you don't have enough of a butt there, but the referee is not looking because uh, he knows where the referee is. It's over Jermaine Taylor. So does A plus B equals C? No. Not he's a got total not uh, throw. He had no punching distance. And he caught one in the ribs too, Ron, right as he came forward. Did in Jermaine Taylor, but what really has bothered Pavlik uh, is the mobility. Round nine. He, he knows he's taking there. I think if he puts him down, it will be the right hook. Great. Little cut opening up. A the, the spurt and stop roll that they've been talking about. And, and maybe the biggest one if it becomes a big problem because of that right hand. Hopkins. Hamilton appears to be almost in a state of shock. And you talk about it. Asked a lot of questions that he has no answers for. By maybe the smartest guy. And he's been chopped down, Pavlik has, by everything that Hopkins can have. It's like he's trying to catch something coming back. Whether it's coming back or it isn't. I think Hopkins is. Well, that's the first big right hand. No, no, watch that one. Talk about where it's kind of Hopkins kind of coasting through number 10, thinking about 11 and 12, I think. Good, good observation there. Hopkins flurries on the inside. He goes to hold with the left hand and he says, I can hit him with the right hand. I forgot to ask, guys, what were the final odds going into this fight? We're using such. Like you said, I believe Hopkins is in that fighting with the lead mode. It's Bernard <laughs> Hopkins. He's really taking, he's taking the fight exact, out of. It's just, uh, uh, you use some. I'm sure that the elbow theory will. Yeah. Hopkins, that right hand, another right hand. Hop, you know, it looks like. Well, we got. Maybe we're looking at a. It seemed like there was nothing left for him to do, and he said there's nothing left to do. Well, he found something else. How is he still up? And he's barely up. And now you, you start wondering about any long term damage up for, for passes. He, he wants a knockout. He got hit with a little right hand by Pat up there. He just smiled. <laughs> Fifty seconds. Thirty five seconds left. And boy, does this in and out show different looks. He mugged him. Tied up when he had to.